Hello everyone, have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about arithmetic series. This is a grade 10 lesson for week 3 in the first quarter. Before we go on with finding the arithmetic series, let us define first arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now, the formulas in finding the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence are first, we have s sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. We will be using this formula if a sub n or the last term is given, where our s sub n is the sum of the first n terms, n is the number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and of course, a sub n is the last term. The second formula is we have s sub n equals n over 2 times quantity of 2a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. We will be using this formula if a sub n or the last term is not given. Same, s sub n is the sum of the first terms, n is number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and d is the common difference. Now let us consider the first example. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of 14, 19, 24, and so on. Okay, for our solution, first we have to solve for the common difference. Actually, even without the solution, we can easily determine the common difference. So, we have a sub 2 minus a sub 1. By substitution, we have 19 minus 14, so that is equal to 5. 24 minus 19 is also 5. Next, determine the value of the first term. Of course, our first term is 14. And n is equal to 10 since we are asked to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Now, we are going to write the formula. Next, substitute. So since we are looking for the sum of the first 10 terms, we have here s sub 10 is equal to n, 10 divided by 2. Just copy 2. Our a sub 1 is 14 plus our n is 10. Bring down negative 1. And our d is equal to 5. Simplify. 10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5. 2 times 14, 28. 10 minus 1, the answer is 9. And 9 times 5, that is equal to 45. Simplify further. Copy 5. Add 28 and 45. The sum is 73. So, multiply. 5 times 73 the answer is 365. So it means that the sum of the first 10 terms of 14, 19, 24, and so on is 365. Now let's consider the second example. Find the sum of the first 21 terms of negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, and so on. So first, we have to determine the common difference. So by formula, we have a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Negative 5 is our a sub 2 minus negative 2, which is our a sub 1. This will become negative 5 plus 2, applying the rule in subtracting integers. And negative 5 plus 2 is equal to negative 3. We also have our first term equals negative 2. n 
is 21 since we are asked to find the first 21 terms. Now we are going to write the formula in finding the sum of the first n terms. Next, substitute. So n is 21 divided by 2. Just copy 2. a sub 1 is negative 2 plus n is 21 minus 1 and d is negative 3. Simplify further. 21 divided by 2, that is equal to 10.5. You may write it as fraction. So we have 21 over 2. And 2 times negative 2, the answer is negative 4. 21 minus 1, that is 20 times negative 3, the answer is negative 60. Simplify further. We have to copy 21 over 2. Then, add negative 4 plus negative 60. The answer is negative 64. Now, to shorten the solution, we can cancel out 2 because negative 64 can be factored out as 2 and negative 32. So, that is why we have here our answer, negative 672. So how did we get that? Just multiply 21 times negative 32. The answer is negative 672. What if we are not going to use this shortcut method? Same answer. All we have to do is multiply 21 by negative 64. So 21 times negative 64, the answer is negative 1344 and then copy the denominator of the fraction we have 2 then divide so negative 1344 divided by 2 same answer negative 672 so it means that the sum of the first 21 terms of negative 2 negative 5 negative 8 negative 11 and so on is negative 672 now let's consider the third example. Find the sum of the first 100 natural numbers. Okay, when we are talking about natural numbers, it refers to the counting numbers. And of course, counting numbers begin with 1. So if we're going to illustrate the natural numbers up to 100, so we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, then ellipsis, then the last number is 100 so it is very easy to determine the common difference so we have 1 how did we get 1 2 minus 1 3 minus 2 that is also 1 or 4 minus 3 next the first term is equal to 1 and n is equal to 100 since the problem is asking for the sum of the first 100 natural numbers our a sub n is also 100 since we are going to find the sum of the natural numbers up to 100. So for our solution, we have to write the formula s sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. The question is, what if we are going to use the other formula? Do we still have the same answer? Yes, you still have the same answer. But for this time, I'll be using the other formula to emphasize that we can also use this one if a sub n is known or the last term is known. So we have s sub 100. So we have 100 divided by 2 times the quantity of 1 plus 100. Simplify, 100 divided by 2, the answer is 50. 1 plus 100, the answer is 101. Next, multiply. 50 times 101, the answer is 5050. So, this is now the sum of the first 100 natural numbers. Now let's have the fourth example. Find the sum of an arithmetic sequence negative 12, negative 16, negative 
20, negative 24. The last term is negative 60. So how are we going to find the sum of this given sequence? Okay, for our solution, we have to solve first for the common difference. So, we have negative 16 minus negative 12. Of course, we have negative 4. We can also check here, negative 20 minus negative 16, or negative 24 minus negative 20. Same, the common difference is negative 4. Next, our first term. Of course, our first term is negative 12. A sub n, or the last term, is negative 60. Now, how did we get n equals 13? So here is the solution in solving for n. So to solve for n, we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1. Since we don't have yet the value of n. Now, substitute negative 60 equals first term negative 12 plus n. Just copy minus 1 times negative 4, the value of d. Now let's simplify. So we have to copy negative 60, copy negative 12, apply the distributive property of multiplication. So n times negative 4, that is equal to negative 4n, and negative 1 times negative 4, the answer is positive 4. Remember, we're going to solve for n. So next, we can combine negative 12 and positive 4. So just copy negative 60 and negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. So bring down negative 4n. Now to solve for n, we have to transpose negative 8 to the left side of the equation. So this will become negative 60. Just copy negative 8, so this becomes positive 8. Bring down negative 4n. Add negative 60 and 8. The answer is negative 52. Bring down negative 4n. Now solve for n. So negative 4n divided by negative 4, the answer is n. And negative 52 divided by 4, negative 4, the answer is positive 13. So that is why we have here 13 as the value of our n. Since we already have the value of, of a sub 1, a sub n, d, and n, we can now proceed to our formula. Now we are going to substitute the values to the formula. Our n is 13, just copy 2. a sub 1 is negative 12, or a sub n or the last term is negative 60. 13 over 2, the answer for that is not a whole number, so just leave our answer in fraction. Then combine negative 12 and negative 60, the answer is negative 72. Now we are going to multiply 13 over 2 by negative 72. To shorten the solution, we can factor out negative 72 as 2 times negative 36. So we can cancel out 2 here and 2 in the denominator. So we only have here 13 and negative 36. So multiply 13 and negative 36. The answer is negative 468. Now what if we're not going to use this method? Do we have the same answer? Yes, we have the same answer. How? Just multiply 13 by negative 72 and the answer is negative 936. Just copy the denominator of the fraction. We have 2 because negative 72 has 1 as the denominator and 2 times 1 is already 2. 
After that, divide negative 936 divided by 2. The answer is negative 460. So we have the same answer. So it means that the sum of negative 12, negative 16 up to 60 is negative 468. That's all for today. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. Do not be anxious about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6-7 Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like or comment if you learned something and have questions regarding the video. Share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. Subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. God bless you all and have a nice day.